Hi guys, another little video reply I've got to do. Daniel Oliver commented that on these stove fans there's a bimetallic strip on the bottom so that if it overheats it tips itself up. So I shall try and apply some heat on that and see if we can make that bend. Right, I've got the soldering iron heating up. So at the moment, uh, right, 32, that's pretty hot. Yes, we are um, quite warm in here. <laughs> How about me? I'm 35 according to this, degrees centigrade, 31, 31, 33, no particular reason for any difference other than it's just been standing on the warm counter. I'll see if we can, yeah, I'll get a little table that we can set it on and then I'll put my soldering iron on it. Right, just do that again. Still 32.5. 33. What's the table itself? 34 on the table. Soldering iron. It's going to be upside down for you, I'm afraid. 196. 228. So as soon as I hit touch this, this is a big heat sink, so it takes all the heat out of my little what are we, 18 watt, yeah, 18 watt soldering iron. So it's probably not the best way to try and heat it up. How about we turn that the other way up? We're not trying to spin the motor, we're just trying to heat up the bimetallic strip. Yeah, see we're losing so much heat. I think it's wicking the heat away before the bimetallic strip is actually going to operate. Right, now I'm trying to heat it over a gas flame. Just to see if we can get that bimetallic strip to trigger. I'll probably heat my hands up too much before we get there. Obviously, we're heating up the bit that I'm getting hold of. Oh, hold it at the cold end instead. Oh, yep, yeah, I can see it's moving now. Uh, it was moving. Oh, you can see it. The fan's going as well. You can just see that strip. Is deformed and lift it would have lifted the base away from the stove. Push it in again. Oh, sorry about that. That was the blade hitting the right. Can you see that strip? You can just see the tip of it angling out. So that would be lifting the whole thing away from the heat. That's its purpose. You might have to put an arrow in the video edit so you can see what we're talking about. If 
I turn it off. It's only 118. Oh, where are we? There we are. So it wasn't that hot. But we are, as you can see, running. <laughs> Because the bottom is that much hotter than the top. Still, the purpose was to see if the bimetallic strip moved, and it did. So, like I say, I'll put an arrow on the video when it was pop curving out. And obviously, that's going to keep running till it's cooled itself down a bit. I'll leave it like that because that will remind me that this is hot. Just another little check. If we point this down here, uh, 69 degrees now, and up here, 33. So that's your, your temperature difference. 33 at the top. That is cooling down fairly rapidly, 67 now. What's that? Well, that's still hot, so we don't want to touch that. I could. Stand that on there. And that'll keep running till it's cooled down. Again, that's wicking the heat away pretty quickly. That was over 100 before I put the fan on top of it. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.